Hello, so friend. My name is Oluwa Tosin. Hold on and let me ask you this question. How many slave foundation do you know? How many slaves foundation do you know? The slave you are seeing on the screen or in the video is known as the poor slave. You can see how classic this poor slave look. Poor slave is one of the statement slave like. If you have this on a short dress, you are good to go. To this is a circular sleeve. If you call it place sleeve. sleeve, I don't know why you call okay. this place Give sleeve. But for me, this is a no, circular sleeve because of the way it is caught. It was caught. Okay. And this is how a circular next sleeve one. look like. The next sleeve is the place sleeve. This is a place sleeve design. And this is what the place sleeve look like this next sleeve on the screen is the bell sleeve we call this the separate bell sleeve because the bell sleeve has an uh, a flay a circular sleeve attached to it now this is a cow sleeve yeah this is a cow sleeve you can see how detailed the sleeve is looking on our student and this is what a cow sleeve look like. The next sleeve is the bishop sleeve. Now, bishop sleeve are one of the statements like I know, like eighty percent of us have a bishop sleeve in our dress. Like it is always there. This is lantern sleeve, lantern, <laughs> very nice and uncommon sleeve. It is also statement for me. It is unique you can see how beautiful it is instead of me to go for uh a bishop sleeve i think uh this lantern sleeve is okay by me like it is always classic for me i don't know about you the next sleeve is the leg of mountain sleeve this is the leg of mountain sleeve you can see it's a bit wider at the arm area than the puff sleeve that's the difference between the post sleeve and the leg of written sleeve. You have more volume along the upper arm area of this dress. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day and bye.